guys, I just got back home from school. It's time to get dressed for Across the Spider-Verse. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah, guys, just changing my clothes. I'm ready to go. I'm just ready to go. I'm saying I'm really, I'm really excited for this film. I'm really excited. Let's go. I'm so excited. Let's go. Um, my expectations, honestly, this is a hot take, but I do think uh, Into the Spider-Verse is definitely an overrated film. I think it's overrated. But I do. I still think it's a good film. I still think. I still think it's probably uh, it's debatable to be a top ten comic movie of all time. But me personally, I don't have it in my top ten. But I still think it's a good movie. I can't wait to go see this one. Let's go. Let's go see this one. I'm saying. I'm really excited. Let's go. Let's go. You guys, just got outside. About to get my Uber. You know what I'm saying? Then we're about to go watch Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. Let's go. Let's go. I just stopped by GameStop. And I got the Guardians of the Galaxy character I was missing. Nebula, let's go, let's go. Got into the place, I'm saying, let's go. Gotta go to my theater, three to five, let's go. Let's go watch Crossfire, let's go, let's go. I just arrived in the theater. And right now is a commercial, like the newbie verse stuff, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, let's go. Gotta go see Spider, let's go, let's go. Ooh, that ending, bro. The ending. This movie, oh my god, bro. I, but, uh, too much to talk about, bro. Too much. I'll make a video later. Let's go. What is up, guys? Back again to the channel. Guys, finally, across the Spider-Verse, we got it. I watched it last night. I made the, I made a movie vlog, but, like, I, I, when I came out of it, I wanted to, like, I was just so, like, like, the movie was just so crazy and good that, like, I just needed to sleep. Sometimes I just need to sleep on film before I talk about them, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't want to just, like, like, add a theater, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, let's talk about it, okay? Okay. Okay, so hear me out. This movie was great. Off the bat, it was great. I definitely think, I don't think it is 100% better than the first one. As in, it will definitely be debatable. But I don't think it'll be better. It's like kind of like how um, it's kind of like how a Civil War and, and Winter Soldier, Captain America, Winter Soldier, and Civil War are. And they're both great films, but people pick one or the other. I feel like this is gonna be that. The film was great. I had fun with it. The story overall was great. I feel like for me personally, the beginning was a bit slow. I'm not gonna lie, it was a bit slow. I was kind of not necessarily getting bored, but I was kind of like, I was kind of like, ugh, like you know what I'm saying. I, I want to see like the whole multiverse stuff. You know what I'm saying I want to get to the action. You know what I'm saying, and like, it, like I was kind of like, it was kind of a bit of a slow beginning. But once they once they get to the multiverse stuff, once they get to the other, but the opening the opening of the movie was insane. The opening of the movie was insane. Don't get me wrong, the opening of the movie is insane. The whole scene with Miguel O'Hara, um, aka Spider Man twenty ninety nine, that was amazing. But then like uh, later on, like when the, as the film's like progressing, um, like it gets it does get a little bit slow. But then once the multiverse stuff happens, like it's insane. Guys, can I real quick just talk about Spa? Like I was gonna wait for like later, but go. Oh my God, guys! Like like the Spa. At first, at first, I was like, meh. Like he's gonna be a goofy villain. I'm saying he'd be whatever. He's not serious. No, no. Was I mistaken? Was I mistaken? Rewatch. If you if you haven't seen the movie, rewatch Into the Spider Verse and look at every little detail. This villain. Origin was so unexpected, like so crazy, but it was so funny and so cool. But this villain, like in the end of the movie, he is serious. He is not playing around. This villain is serious, and I cannot wait to see him and be on the Spider Verse. He is gonna be such a menace. He's gonna be so damn cool, man. And like the spot, like 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 that. He was such a cool character. I want to get the Marvel Legend of him. I want to get him so freaking bad now. But guys. This movie was so like so much fun. It was so good. Like I had so much entertaining. Guys, the cameos were insane, man. The cameos were insane. And like, not like there, there's a bunch of cam. There's a bunch of cameos, but like like there's like so, like standout ones, and they're just like eh, all right, fun fun ones. But like yeah, guys, like these ones are fun. But I like the story overall was fantastic the story overall was fantastic like 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 i'm not gonna spoil it because like like, like i want to explain it a bit because they did kind of like say in the trailers but i don't want to like like break into i mean the whole point in the trailers was that he wants to prevent something and then and then obviously like 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 uh his father died like like event like how like in the trailers like how you see it and then he's trying to like like prevent that you see in the trailer so that's not a spoiler you see that in the trailers but yeah, guys, like he's trying to prevent that, and obviously, like Miguel O'Hara himself is not gonna let that happen. You know what I'm saying so. He has to stop Miles. All of them have to stop Miles. 
guys, this movie was freaking awesome, man. Like, honestly, like, I had to sleep on it a bit more. I honestly give this film a solid 8.5 out of 10. Um, it's so hard to talk about it, like, because, like, there was so much stuff that happened. This movie was phenomenal. It was so much fun. I feel like, like, this is what we need lately with superhero films, I'm saying. And, yeah, guys, like, this movie was so much fun. Um... The, the animation is fantastic. Like, it's so good. Like, the animation is so beautiful, so awesome. The um, other characters, like like uh, Miguel O'Hara, he was literally a peak in this film. He was peak in this film. Um, Gwen Stacy, Spider Gwen, she's a standout in this film. Like, the first one was mainly about Miles Morales. This film is about her and Miles. Like, this is her and Miles' film. Like, uh, Into the Spider-Verse was just basically Miles' film, like, mainly. But no, this film was both of their film. Like, they both had their time to shine. They both had their glory in this film. And it was phenomenal. It was phenomenal. And, like, it was just so good. And the storyline between them gets better. And the, the, the movie basically, I, I'm, not, I'm not hoping to spoil too much, but the movie basically opens up with Gwen. And the opening was just like so intriguing, like so interesting, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, guys, like I genuinely cannot wait for Beyond the Spider-Verse. Like, like, like I feel like, like I wish like as if like they gave us Into Spider-Verse now and then gave us Beyond the Spider-Verse next month, you know what I'm saying? But I mean, obviously they can't do that because they like led a different year. But yeah, guys, next year we get Beyond the Spider-Verse. I literally cannot wait. Like they gave this to us and expected us to wait an entire year. You know what I'm saying? That cliff... Yo, guys, that ending, dude. Dude. Dude, look at my reaction. As soon as the end credits happen, look at my reaction. Dude. 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 That ending. Dude. I want to talk, guys. I might do a spoiler review because I have to talk about this. I, I might just cut this in two parts in one video or I might make another video. We'll see. We'll see. But, um, yeah, guys, like, oh, my God, guys, like... That's just wild, man. That's just wild, man. That's wild. But yeah, guys, it's crazy. I'm so happy with how this film turned out. I'm happy. I'm happy. The ending just left us like, it's like, chum. Uh, no offense, but I feel like Soups, was, Soups, don't get me wrong. He's a cool creator. I like him. But I feel like he was a, like a little bit, like a little, 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 little bit overreacting. Here's why. Because the way he was explaining the ending was kind of having me scared. Like, like there, was, there were times in the film when I was watching it, was like I was scared that it was going to end here. And I was like, oh, no, no, the story's not going to, it's not going to feel, it's not going to feel like it's going to stand on its own. But no, this film, for me, pretty much stand, stood on its own. I just feel like I would rather have like an actual ending, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, um, so the way she was made it, it seemed like it was either like, like, for example, the No Way Home scene, right? As if the movie just ended at the portal scenes. You know what I'm saying? He made it seem like that. And I was like, I was like, like, like when I was watching the film, I was like, I was like, I want more, I want more, I want more. And then and there, there were certain scenes where I was, I was scared that the, the movie was just going to end here. And I was just so glad there was, there was more, 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 more. But then when the movie did end, I was like, ah, I need more. I need more, man. But yeah, this movie was just phenomenal. I had so much fun with it. Like I said, 8.5 out of 10. Um, I wouldn't, me personally, Okay, this is a hot take. Don't come after me, but I do think Into the Spider-Verse is overrated. As I said in the beginning, I do think Into the Spider-Verse is overrated. I think it's definitely maybe a top 10 at most comic movie, but I don't think it's nowhere near a top 5. It's still a great movie. It was still a great movie, though. But this film was phenomenal. This film, I, I me mean, personally, I, I can't say if it's better, but me personally, if I have to choose between like which one I, I prefer, I'd prefer Across the Spider-Verse. Yeah, but yeah, guys, I'm so ex I'm so excited for the future, guys. Next week is Transformers, and the following week is the Flash. So stay tuned, subscribe, and make sure you turn on notifications because you do not want to miss out my reviews. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna talk about it, like all the time. Don't mind that, it's the bell. But yeah, guys, I can't wait. Uh, comment down below if you've seen the film, if you're going to see it. Comment down below your thoughts. Let me know in the description below. So next time, guys, peace and take care.